Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be starting a new Let's Play series for the game Palea, which is currently in open beta right now. So with that, let's try logging in and see what happens. Hey, we made it! Alright. And, okay. Well, this is kind of nice. Be a responsible neighbor. Be a kind neighbor. Be a helpful neighbor. I agree. All right. Now, where should I start? Ooh. Okay, so this is the character creation, it seems. We're going to go female. Not bad. We'll continue. Let's take a look at the faces. I think I kind of like the second one here the best. So we'll stick with that. Skin tone. Love all the different options here. Ooh, eyes. Oh, I kind of like that. It's got like a little blue and purple in it. In it. I actually kind of like that. We'll keep that for right now. Choice. Uh, uh, Tempted, let's just go with the first one. I'm not really sure. So we'll, we'll play with that one. Pair options. Okay. Kind of cute. I do like that one. Let's see, what else do we have here? Tons of options. Wow. My goodness. Looks good. the ponytails too. Let's go ponytails. And color. Oh. Oh. Look at this. You can change the different sides. You need to pick a secondary color. Okay. You can make your eyebrow color to match. <laughs> okay. All right. And then dye patterns that way all of it with just the the secondary is the um, twist tie color I think or whoops sorry the first option which is half and half okay do we like that hmm could go green doesn't quite go with the blue eyes though So the one thing okay, or that I've always uh, tried to do was to keep my hair in the red family. 
So I thought that would be kind of fun. Ooh, I do like the pink though. That pink is really cute. I do like the pink and white. I do like the white platinum. Platinum just makes it look a little softer. Let's go with that. Eyebrows. Hmm. Now if we go too light, it's just gonna mesh in. We'll stick to a darker eyebrow color. For right now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, face mask. Oh, glasses. Nah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and we get to pick a top. Okay. So what do we got? Got a few different options. Let's see, what else do we have here? We could, that's not bad. We could do that. We got the, ooh, that one, that one. Kind of like the short one, okay. Different colors. Now we'll stick with the, I wish I could flip the colors. That would be cool. All right, bottoms. Mm, not quite. That would kind of work. Oh, here we go. guys think which one which pant style should I have should I go with here well, it's not too bad I don't mind that we could go with that ah. all right I like it let's start <laughs> It's a good start, I guess. And what is this? Oh, makeup options. Let's see. Oh, nothing. A little bit more right there in the eyes, it looks like. And put, uh... The wispies. That's actually kind of nice. Gives it a little something, but not being too much. That looks weird. I feel like that would look weird too. I do like this one. All right, we're gonna finish this look. Confirm. Ah, here we go. Mm. Can we do Kikami? Continue. Great. Oh, different name. Okay. Well, shoot. I'm sorry, that didn't work out. All right, let's do Cozy K. Cozy K or Cozy K? Oh, Cozy K. a cozy K. Can we just do K? Continue. Sure. 
Ow. How about this? Continue. Oh man. Here. How about that? We'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh. Okay. Time for you to go out into the world. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. All right. And I think we're starting. research, don't you think? Oh my dragon. Did did you just materialize from nowhere? Ooh. I honestly have no idea. Uh. Right, you probably don't know anyone about your situation than I or er, sorry, you right, you probably don't know any more about your situation than I do. It's just none of the other humans knew either, which leaves me right back at square one. Other humans? <sighs> yep, you're not the first human I've seen in Palea. <sighs> just the first I've seen, you know, appear in a giant cocoon of light. <sighs> we should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled in. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here, and this, and I am this close to figuring it out. <laughs> I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. The name's Gina. I'm an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. And this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I gotta get back to the grind. Oh, you've already left. All right, I think we're we're in. There's Gina. There's Hecla. All right, so it's just basic WSAD. Okay, easy enough. Let's talk to Hecla. Let's see what happens. Are you in need of sustenance? Hello, human. I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. But your presence heralds a much change in the world of, Pale of Palea. Who are you? I am Hecla. It is my duty to aid and protect the young scholar known as Gina. We have stumbled upon you during a routine excavation of the ruins of this ancient human city. This occurrence comes as a great surprise to young Gina. I, on the other hand, found it inevitable. You are bound to return one day. Why not today? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. My Gina needs me. And we'll talk to Gina one last time just to make sure we're not missing anything. I'm always here to help. Why don't you come back when my head's spinning just a little less. All right, 
She has nothing else to say. I really should get back to it. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool looking. <laughs> Here we go. I guess we're off in the world. Is there anything over here to explore? Don't look like it. Let's head out. I always like looking at the ceilings because that is just a cool image right there. Hold on a second. Let's do this. Got our screenshot. <laughs> All right. No, nope, jump. Press space while moving forward. Okay. This must be the tutorial section. Okay. Climb. Walk, run, or jump onto climbable surfaces. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, I like the rainbow. <laughs> That's a neat effect. Looks like there's something over there, too. Alright. Let's go wander this way. Get it? Do we attempt to go get it? I think we do. Can't go that way. Hey, we got our first gold. <laughs> and some, what is that? Leather and a chest, it looks like. Wonder if you can open those. Oh, there's a person here. Shane. Margie's blessings. Another child of the Phoenix joins our little village. I must say, today is a lovely day to be born. Oh. I am Shane, the local ritual sage and devotee of Maji, the great dragon. It is my job as Kilima's healer and sage to care for our village, both physically and spiritually. So, how are you feeling? I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. This world is amazing. I'm glad to hear it. Keep that positivity and you'll overcome any troubles the world ha offers you. I do not know why, but the gods, why the gods brought you here but I am sure that there must be some great plan in store. I look forward to seeing it. Now, you'll want to speak to Ashura before you do anything else. Just take this path towards the village. He'll be in the big building with the keg up front. Okay. Farewell, child of Embra. Embra? I thought he was with Maji. Can we talk Welcome, to him again? Does Phoenix's he say anything else? Child. Oh, okay. Still looking for Ashura? Just take this path towards the village. He'll be in the big building with the keg up front. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I need to clear my mind. Oops. <laughs> Just taking in the whole world here. <laughs> it's kind of neat to see. Here, let's take a look out from this direction. So that's kind of where we came from, it looks like. All 
All right. So we're looking for the one with the keg. Oh, straight ahead. Here we go. Hello. Who are you? Welcome Nio. to the village. Oh, hey. You must be new in town. I'm Nio. Hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> My family runs the Daya Farm. Daya Farm over on the west side of Kilima. If you need someone to show you around the barn or teach you how to ride a riff rock, I'm your guy. Uh. I'm also good at lifting heavy stuff if you need anything heavy lifted. Mm. Oh, and here's a carrot for Sugarfoot. Give her one of these and you'll be her new best buddy. Let me know if you need anything. Oops. Here. All right. I think we're going into here. Oh, there's a Shura. So we got a Kenley, Wrath, and a Shura. Okay. Hello! Welcome to Kilima. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at the Ormu's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots in the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. What do you say? Do you want to take, take in the great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. The night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So, let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I marked the spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Oh, we got our axe. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk to Reth here first. Hey, you. <laughs> looking for the plots? Just take the road up the hill outside of town. If you're looking for delicious soups and stews, instead, I'm your guy. Ah. Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. <laughs> Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. I have to leave for mysterious reasons. Okay. The government work is best done between naps. Greetings. I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari. The firstborn son of the late Kenjun Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari province, and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. I am mayor of this fine village, and it's a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. Don't tell Eshe you saw me. All right. So it looks like our map here shows our little pin at the top. So, oh, there's someone else, a couple other people to talk to. Let's see, who's this? Getting ready for a big adventure? Howdy. I'm Sifu, the blacksmith around these parts. But you might recognize me as Sifu, the famous monster slayer. Hmm. I just materialized from a mysterious void. Huh? Right. I suppose I can cut you some slack for not recognizing the most famous monster hunter in all 12 provinces. How did a famous monster hunter like me wind up in a quaint suburban hamlet such as this? Ah. Well, that's a good question. Fortunately, I have a good answer. You see, I became a mother and I realized angering dangerous beasties was, well, a little too dangerous for my young son. So I took up the position of the town's blacksmith. These days, I make blades instead of wield them. All right. Now go out and crush your enemies. <laughs> it's awesome. 
I love her, what she said there. And we have Kenyatta. Okay. You haven't seen my mom around, right? Oh, hey. You're one of the newbies. That's cool. I'm just taking a break from work. My parents made me get this job at City Hall to teach me about responsibility. Uh. All it's taught me so far is how to die of boredom. Uh. So stop by again later and keep me entertained, okay? This town needs some more excitement. Later. Okay. So, let's see. Do we have a map? M? Oh, we got a map. All right. Well, it looks like there's one other person we haven't met there. Let's try to say hi real quick. Talk to this one. Oh, here. Zeki? Anything fun going on? Welcome to the general store, pal. Actually, you look like you're fresh out of the ruins, so I guess I should say, welcome to living. Name's Zeki. I run this here establishment. <laughs> Come back when you have some cash. We'll take care of your needs. We got vegetable seeds, fertilizer. We got that pointy stick over there that kind of looks like a rake. All your basic farming, who's it's and what's it's. Goodbye. All right. This has to be the store. What does he sell? Okay, so it looks like we got some seeds. All sorts of stuff here. Fertilizer, flour, butter, eggs. Some meat, some furs. Okay. All right, let's go find this housing plot. I think we're going this direction. Tell you what, oh, look at this. They're all different. Huh. All right. Don't think we can do anything with that yet. But they're all over. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're gonna head this way because that's what the little pointer is saying. Look, there's more up here. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's two there. Okay. So I think... Not too bad. Let's go to the housing and see what we got. I think we're going, yeah, I think we're going this way. So, Hodari. You need something? Mm. Hmm, it's coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hodari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do? F what can I do you for? <laughs> hi, I'm Cozy Kekami. Cozy Kekami, huh? Interesting name. I would agree. I assume Ashura sent you over. Been sending a lot of new folk my way lately. Huh. It's the whole tr reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need you all buried in mud. I would agree. In fact, this one's about ready for use. If you want it, just needs a bit more work. I see you've got an axe already. Here, take this pick too. Always good to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear this debris, would you? 
Mine is hungry work, so you better take this too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more use out of it. Sure. All right. Clear some debris from the plot. Okay. How do we equip it? Ah, I think we figured it out. Let's get the pick. <gasps> okay. I think we'll clear this area here real fast. Should be pretty easy. I think I'll do all the rocks and then we'll come back through with all the trees. Or for all the trees. Can I get this one? Kinda like the ruins though. It's a cute look. <laughs> Wouldn't mind that in a corner. I hope we can we can build some of this stuff again. I noticed some wasn't... okay. Looks like... There we go. Turn to Hodari. Okay. You need something? Hmm. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. Huh? Found a lot of strange, strange things in the mines, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot, after all. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be a space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, yep. Oh, and he disappears. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish clearing away some of this stuff. And we'll take a look at what we got. I don't see any of those glowing trees here. Kind of interesting. Hmm. And I assume jumping out here, I'm not going to... Oh, I can break that stuff. So do I do the whole thing or should I just... We're going to focus on just the area we got. Yeah, I think we'll do this first. So let's see if we can switch to the to the axe. All right. Kind of like the barrel. We'll keep the barrel. Okay. That one's glowing over there. Getting this one. Oh, there we go. that. Let's get rid of this guy. A little close to that fence. a 
a lot of trees out here. <laughs> Goodness. Sounds coming from a mushroom. Yep, because I think if I move away from that. Huh. Alright. That's kind of cool. Get a little bit of an audio cue when you come up against something. Or at least something you can pick up. Oh my goodness, got so much more to go. isn't wearing down or breaking. That's kind of an interesting, something interesting to see. Hmm. Oh, we're about halfway, I think. Oh, we got this one. I guess I totally skipped it. And we can't. I guess there's a reason for it. <laughs> I was gonna leave it there because I liked it. No, oh, foraging is now level two. Nice. Chopper. Hey, we, oh my gosh, 30 trees already. Can you believe it? Yeah, maybe I will get rid of that barrel. Almost done. At least we're getting really, really close. If, if not, yeah, we got this guy. Cannot do. Okay. And can we get rid of this? Yes. Okay. There we go. Done. So he said we had a workbench. I wonder if that's what this is. All right. Back it up against that for right now. What can we craft? All right, a storage tent, a storage chest, and a tent. Let's make the tent because we're gonna need that. And do we have enough to make the chest? Let's make one chest because I think we're gonna need that as well. All right, so let's put this. Chest. Oh, scroll wheel. <laughs> Put it right there next to the next to that. And then ten, oh my goodness. Whew. Where do we want this? Hmm. 
Let's... Maybe we'll put it right over here for right now. Maybe somewhere in between. How about that? Okay. We got a tent. And I got one of these. We'll put it right. Oh. Let's see what do we got here. Right there, for right now. Oh, hello. Hey, Uni. Uni. Oh wow! <laughs> Didn't expect you. Hey, Uni. Whew. Good, you haven't left yet. My mom, Delilah, told me that there was another new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Fresh dairy from Daya Family Farm. Welcome to Kilima. And I wanted to wanted you to have your mail. I'm a uni, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. I love getting mail. Good, then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. I'm gonna catch some bugs now, bye. Oh, we got two messages, okay. Let's see what... Hussein? Hassan. To whom it may concern, City Hall requires that I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use. During work hours, you can find me in the Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. This looks like we got a recipe for arrows. Okay. Oh, click on it. Okay. Makeshift arrow. We got 20 arrows. And a bow. A starter bow. Okay. Mark that as red. Einar? Dear Cozy Kikami, I have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from a swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Einar, and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. And we get a basic uh, fishing rod. Okay. Makeshift rod. Okay. Mark that one as red. I think we're done. Oh, beauty. What's up? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. I love it. <laughs> so, how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. Uh... My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever seem to find are rocks. Well, I found this strange artifact. Oh, oh wow. What does it do? No idea. Huh? Hmm. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot in all the excitement. I brought a present for you too. Uh -huh. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs too. I'm a member of Kilima's best and only bug catching club. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Rath, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. Oh. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. Mm, gotta head home soon. 
All right. So looks like we gotta leave your housing plot. But I just got here. Um, let's put some stuff in here. Can I put, put the wood in there? Put the stone in there. Yeah, I'll put the milk in there. And food kind of I'll keep on the side. We'll put the quest stuff on the right and utility or... Okay. There. Leave your housing plot. Let's leave the housing plot. Accepted quest, mysterious object. And I accepted another quest. Oh, learning the ropes. Okay. Oops. So we need to ask Gina about the strange artifact, talk to Bad Drew to learn how to garden, and talk to Reth to learn how to cook. Looks like Ashura's. I think that's his name. He's out. Looks like they fall asleep. They do. All right, so okay. Looks like we got quests all over the place. My goodness. Well, let's see if we can catch Gina here. Nope, oh, did we lose her? I think we, oh. Maybe? Is she still going? She's still going. Alright, let's go this way. See if we can catch her. There she goes. Quick, catch her! Don't go in there. Talk to me. Gina! I'm always here to help. <laughs> hey, Cozy K! Kikami, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in alright? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Huh. Really? What is it? Oh, wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. Huh? And you say you just found it? Found this under some old junk? I guess I'm just lucky? <laughs> well, this is certainly my lucky day. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. Okay. Uh, chat. Oh my gosh, is it night already? Hmm. Looking at the sky, I can deduce that, yes, it is definitely night. I can't believe time got away from me like that. I really should get back to it. <laughs> okay. What is this? Night Sky Temple. Oh. Okay. What is this? Hmm. It's kind of cool looking. Fish. fox or a cat a bird looks like one of the little golem things 
Alright. The image itself looks cool, too. going next. Well, that person's sleeping. Let's go. Let's go back and talk to the bartender guy or the innkeeper, I think. still that way. Is he still here? Yes, he is. Okay. Hello! I know starting out in a new place can be tough, but you've been doing a great job. I thought I'd help you out. I got a couple of recipes for purchase that might take make your life a little easier. You'll probably want to get a sawmill first thing to turn some of that wood into planks. Okay. Shoot, he was saying some. 100. I got five. <laughs> Guess what? Don't cut any fingers off on it, okay? Well, fortunately I can't make it yet. Check. There's a lot of spooky legends around these parts. Some say the old well is haunted. Others say there's a monster roaming the forest. Nio used to scare a uni with that good old, with that old tale. Thanks for dropping by. And I don't see anyone else here. Can we go out? It's back here. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's anyone out here as well. Okay. Buy planks. <laughs> it's not gonna do me any good though. Looks like we can make them, so hold off on buying anything at the moment. <laughs> so that was the general store. Let's see. Looks like this is all furniture kind of stuff. Okay. Now can you craft all this or is this stuff you buy? Huh. Looks neat though. Well, we need to figure out money. We need a hundred gold. Seeing how everyone's asleep. What can we... what can we do? room around. Let's see what we got. Up, though. Let's see how this works. Oh, 
And there it goes. Let's try shooting it again. It's gonna stop. Please tell me it's gonna stop. Hiding some some stakes. Alright. What's this? Alright, we, we can gather. Oops. Let's go this way. Bye. That one. here. That looks like another treasure chest. Okay. Right. That's over here. shooting it. He's so cute. There we go. Like that. There we go. are way easier to shoot than the deer. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Disappeared on me. set of arrows we should probably ooh, we should probably save those um we'll go back to that for right now oh hey okay, what's this oh I think this is for bug catching oh Yeah, this is the farmer guy we gotta talk to anyways, so... Well, howdy, Sproutling! Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Badrew, a farmer, and I sense that we have some good times ahead. Uh-huh. Did I, did I mention, in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? <laughs> Can you teach me to, to garden? Ah. You've come to the right place if you care it about fresh quality produce. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. I'm just kidding around. Farm life is great, especially if you love the smell of warm manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Tell you what. Meet me on your plot later, and I'll walk you through the steps. Okay. Chat. Aww. Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. They're so low to the ground, they really throw out my back. Aww. Let us guy. make this day a great one. <laughs> Let us make this day a great one. I like it. Okay. Who's over here? 
Hello. Oh, this is Dahlia, or Delilah. Delilah. You see, Nani? That boy is always running around. Nice to meet you, Cozy Kikami. I'm Delilah, mother to Ayuni and Nayo. And Nayo. Wife to Bedru. Okay, so the mom of this family. Ah. And the boss of this here farm, if you don't mind me saying so. If you're ever in need of a fresh pint of milk or a couple of eggs, be sure to give me a holler. Let's chat. If you ever get a chance to stop by the stable, could you tell Nayo he needs to wear his sunscreen? <laughs> Working outside all day is likely to turn the boy magenta. <laughs> Can't chat now. Got lots to do. Oh, I like her. She's funny. That's a fun family. There's Nayo. Let's go tell him to wear sunscreen. Are you lost? It's nice to see you. Chat. Hmm. Oh, we dug up the wildest carrot the other day. It looked just like the dragon. Oh. You don't think it was actually him, right? See you around. So which one's Sugarfoot? <laughs> Why has this one got a bow? <laughs> Oops! Not what we wanted. Drop it, drop it. Oh. Hey, what's this? I'll take take that. Sneaky bombs and a treasure, huh? I think I'm hearing bug sounds. This way? This way. And then, I think we need to talk to Reth yet. Learn how to cook. Oh, who's this person? Eloisa. I knew your kind wasn't really extinct. Hello, human. How are you liking the village? Is it better than your underground lair? Huh? What underground lair? Oh. I see. You are not yet ready to talk about where you come from. Can you at least give me feedback about my theory? Oh. I always knew the humans were not really extinct, as those so-called scientists at the academy like to claim. Extinct? You humans are far too advanced to let something as small as an asteroid knock you out. My theory is that you have been living under the, living underground all these years, sealed away in some ancient vault for protection. It was only a matter of time before you emerged, bright and beautiful as a Bahari afternoon. Hmm. Where did you learn all that? <gasps> Tools, trinkets, carvings, the sort of things most people dismiss as magic without a second thought. Keep a metaphysical mind out there, okay? So many people, so many people call me crazy simply because I do not fit their mold. Chat with Eloisa. Have you spoken to Einar recently? I think he may join us for our next excursion. He cannot pass up the chance to catch more rare, catch a rare fish. Don't be disturbed, but we are being watched. Oh, I like her. She's like the conspiracy theory person. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's go find... Oh, there he is. Oh. He's... Okay. Ooh, too close. You can never go wrong with soup. Had a feeling you'd stop by. Can you teach me to cook? Oh, there, you gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're a human. 
why don't you start out by making a campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ. Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Oh, if you don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor. But hey, I won't judge either way. Hmm. A chat? How exciting! What shall we talk about in this little combo? This tete a -tete, This meeting of the minds? Hmm. If you're low on topics, might I suggest soup? <laughs> he really likes soup. Stop by again soon. All right. So let's talk to Kenley about a house. Uh, that way. Okay. I think we can cut through here like we did before. This is neat. I go in here. Can I go in here? Nope. Bummer. Hmm. Oh, hey, Kenley. I always have time for my constituents. Nice of you to stop by. I could use a break. I wanted to ask about getting a house. A house? And you're... Er, you're asking me? Well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? I wanted to build my own. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, of course. Because you have just moved in. The er, plot didn't come with one? <laughs> no matter. I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh, no. Where is it? Hmm. I shall tell you what. Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to tell you to get you started on some nice furniture while I um, locate these forms. Let's chat with them. Tell me, do you think I'm doing an admirable job as mayor? There's always room for improvement. You lost my forms. Mm. Thank you for phrasing your criticism so kindly. <laughs> I know I'm not naturally suited to governance, but I still, but still, I do one day hope to be worthy of my role. What's this? Learn what the villager wants this week. Will you tell me something? Oh, you know, I've been looking for a spotted chapa tail. Chapa tail? I hear they're lucky. Then I could use all the luck I can get. Okay. Do we have one? <gasps> oh, is this it? Okay. Thanks, I've been looking for one of these. Hopefully this is a sign my fortune will soon improve. My door is okay. always open. During business hours, oh. of course. Oh, I got? lost my sandwich. Oh no, oh dear. Okay. This is a catastrophe. Can I help you with something? No. Oh, Cozy Kami, I didn't see you there. I suppose the circumstances are dire enough to ask for your assistance. Huh? You see, something truly terrible has happened. <laughs> Someone lost my sandwich. Who? Mm -hmm. Well, me. But that's besides the point. No one could possibly expect me to get any work done when I'm so famished. Mm. <laughs> I know. You can help me find it. Where should I look? Hmm. Let's see. I was on a walk greeting my constituents and decided to rest my feet for a moment. I found a spot in the shade where I was surrounded by the fragrance of freshly bloomed flowers. Hmm. Oh, now that I think about it, there is water nearby. Quite a lot of it, too. An entire waterfall, in fact. Then, an adorable little chopper ran by, and I followed after it, and now I'm here. Mm. Hungry, sandwichless, and unable to work. Please hurry. Maybe I'll take a little nap. Okay. Down. 
So, who are we talking to next? We got someone we have never met over here, so let's go talk to them. That must be the person. Oh, a uni. Where are you? You're here, awesome. You got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you gotta take the Bug Scout Oath. Just repeat after me. I promise to honor nature and all of its creatures, and to always lend others a helping hand. And most importantly, tell a uni if you see anything really cool. I promise. Awesome. Welcome to the Bug Scouts. Hmm. Why don't you go try to catch something easy to start? Remember, though, certain bugs will only come out at certain times. Let's chat with them. My family runs the farm down the road. We grow the biggest vegetables. My mom won blue ribbons at the fair like a million years in a row. <laughs> what does he want? I've been trying to get a brush-tailed dragonfly. But they keep flying away. Okay, that must be a bug. We're going to have to see if we can catch a brush-tailed dragonfly. Okay. Uh, gotta head home soon. Where'd that other person go? Oh, looks like she's over here. Oh, there she is. Alright. Tish! Welcome to the valley. Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just moved in? Yes. So exciting, but also tough. When my brother and I first moved from the city, it took us a little time to adjust. Huh? Well, more than a little in his case. But if you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. <laughs> Kenley sent me. Oh. I'm so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. Yes. So here. So here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Jell insisted you have a wardrobe, too. He's a tailor, and he always says looking your best makes you feel your best. Oh. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. Oh, we're getting all sorts of stuff. All right, let's chat. Do you like furniture? I made most of the pieces myself. My family comes from a long line of carpenters going all the way back to the time of the first council. <laughs> if you go out logging, would you mind bringing me back some sapwood planks? Okay. I've been working on this new rustic furniture set that's required more than me and Reth can collect on our own. Alright, let's see what we can do. See ya! First thing we gotta do though is get some money. Let's see. We're at 56 and we need 100. Well, I can sell a little bit. Oh, the flower's worth quite a bit. Maybe? Maybe we go and pick flowers? Place a chair, craft a campfire. All right, so it looks like our next quest items are at our plot. Let's see if we can get some some cash. Because I want to build that sawmill. I think it might be somewhat important. Hmm. Well, our home's this way. It's kind of... Maybe we'll go around the outskirts and see what we find. <laughs> oh, just another one of those. Oh, okay. Is 
a big old field. There's some more flowers over there. What do we got? Mm. Oh, someone new. Hussein. Oh, this is the bow guy. Just or Hassan. Cozy Kikami, I presume. Mm. Don't act stunned that I know your name. I know everything that goes on in this village, including when someone new arrives. Oh. My name is Hassan. Hassan. We'll call him Hassan. And I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of the woods that surround the village. Be good to the valley, and we'll have no quarrel. Mm. Use nature poorly, and you'll find I know how to rid this village of all sorts of pests. I got your letter. What? My what? Oh, those pre-written letters City Hall had me sign. Mm. My mother is the town's blacksmith. A simple bow like that is an, is an easy supply. Huh? It takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming that bow at something, like those choppas or Cernuk. Maybe you will even manage to hit your target. Mm. What do you like? What do I like to do for fun? I like to be left alone with my thoughts. I find myself to be all the company I need. Perhaps you should learn to be more comfortable with solitude yourself. What would you like this week? Oh. If you feel the need to get me a gift, perhaps a bit of flint would be suitable. I think we got flint. Mm. That should help me make new arrows. Oh, it's in our chest. Okay. That's Exit. enough. Puppy! Oh, we can talk to the dog. <gasps> Arr Chat with Tao. <sighs> what ails you, my four-legged friend? Arr Would a head pat help? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. I love the dog. Hmm. Oh, what's this glowy thing? Let's grab this. Okay. supposed to be fishing spots. Well, I guess we can give it a try. Fish. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm scared. Caught a catfish. We caught our first fish. Can I get that one? Boop. you have to keep the fish in the... There's a rainbow trap. Oh! What was that? Well, that can't be good. Alright, let's head to our home plot. We are at full inventory space. Hmm. 
Looks like this might take me home. Hmm. We're gonna have to go explore all the houses. Maybe we'll do that on the next stream. Seems like there's a lot to do right now. Or maybe in another one of the, uh, a different Let's Play. Oops. My headset keeps hitting the mic. I'm so sorry. Oh. Let's go put our stuff away before we, we talk to the Drew there. Um, I'd love to sell some of this stuff. Let's see. Shipping bin. He said he sells things. Think we'll need any of this stuff? We're just gonna go for it. They were pretty easy to... Let me keep that. I'll save the fish. Don't know what we'll do with it, but I'll save it. Looks like we got two more treasure chests. So that'd be 121. Hey, that actually gets us our sawmill. What's this? Ashura. Dear Cozy Kikami, looks like you've been improving your foraging skills. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill you can put your supplies to use. Oh, that can put your supplies to use. Noted. Can we do anything with that? Can't open it. Okay. Hmm, excuse me. Looks like we can put another one of these up. We'll go. You can stack items. Awesome. We'll go like that. And what's this one look like? Oh, he's kind of plain. Hmm. Maybe we'll. I'm just going to put it in the storage bin. May sell that moss as well. There we go. There. All right. What's the Drew have? Nothing beats Dia family produce. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. Aww. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some worth at work ethic. Work ethic's my middle name. Ah. I can tell the magistrate's gonna like you, Cozy Kami. When she gets to know you, that is, she's a tad bit picky with the old with the new folks. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you've got patience, I've got the solution to your woes. Gardening. All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila, dinner. Or breakfast. Even lunch if the mood strikes you. <laughs> I know, I know, it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. I've got all the tools you need right here, too. Go on, why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till? All right. Let us make this day a great one. <laughs> I love all the puns. All right. So if we got that right there, let's put... Hmm. Where are we going to put this? Let's put it... Put it over here. Can I put it next to it? Perfect. Now what? Oh. Alright. Take it, we have to do this. Oh man. It didn't take a long time. <laughs> How many do we get? Okay, three.
So it looks like it's a three by three grid. So two of these, maybe a six by three. Okay. Be the last one. There we go. Fun. Oh, we can talk to him now. What brings you around here? You might be wondering what to do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant themselves and water themselves. Uh. You're gonna need some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are in the ground, Go to that pond and fill up this year watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. Might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. Okay. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Ziki's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. <laughs> that would have been funnier if I had given you the wheat seeds. Hmm. I gotta work on my material. Oh, I see you're hailing it a day for now. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we got four carrot and four onion. Hmm. That's only eight and we got nine slots. Man. Well, that's too bad. Actually, yeah. Actually, we got 18 slots. So that's only eight. Two nines. All right. Well, let's do two. They said carrots and onions together prevents weeds. So let's do this. Three, four, and a watering. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can I grab water from here? We can. All right. <laughs> it splashes. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Water all these real quick. Oops. All right. So now we wait. All right. Harvest a carrot, harvest an onion. That'll take care of those items. Craft a campfire. Let's craft a campfire. Campfire. Wood. Okay, it looks like we got everything. We'll make one. Where are we gonna put that? Hmm. Put it right here, I guess. Kind of close to everything. Zero three. Forge for mushrooms. Okay, we're gonna have to find some mushrooms. Place a chair, a table, and a wardrobe. Let's see, can we make a chair, a table, and a wardrobe? Easy enough. Let's make the chair. Oh, we unlock things, okay. 
Let's grab this. Wall decor. Hmm. A chair, a table. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's cute. <gasps> we need the deer. We're making the deer too. Um, that kind of chair? Or... Uh, curious to see. Oh! Okay, it's a log carrier. Let's make that deer. I want that. Oh, I can't make the deer. I need more sapwood. Okay. So let's put the wardrobe down. Shall we place it over here? That. Six the table. Table. And a chair. I heard if you see, you can... There we go. Let's collect that. All right. What else do we got? Oh, hello. Talk to Kenley at your plot. Oh, I look all right. Greetings, fair traveler. Wonderful news. I found the forms under the bookshelf in the records room. They're only a little crumpled, too. If you can just sign here, here, and here, I'll be able to get you that blueprint. All right, let's sign it. Mm. Yes, and here too. Oh, and here. Oh. There we have it. I even remembered to bring the blueprints with me. These are now yours, Cozy K. <laughs> I suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building. Now, if you'll excuse me, I do believe it's time for my break. Okay. Maybe I'll... Take a little nap. All right. Place the foundation for your house. Where is it? Hmm. Oh my goodness, we got a lot. All right. Let's, um... Do I have to craft it? No. There is the tent, though. Hmm. H. What's H do? Harvest house. Oh, hey, that works. Oops. Um. Okay. Can we turn it? Whoops. No, no, no. Q. Nah. I guess we're gonna place it right there. I don't know where else to, I'd like it right. It's just slightly off centered. But then the garden's got a problem. So I guess we'll put it right here. It's only temporary, right? Go back. Hey, Tish. Hmm, What's going on? What to make? Oh, good, oh, you're still here. Hi. Kelly mentioned you found the blueprint for your house, so I thought I'd stop by and give you some other helpful tips. If you want to finish your house, you'll need stone bricks and sapwood planks. So get comfortable with wood cutting and mining. Yes. You've met our innkeeper, sure, right? He can teach you to make a sawmill for those planks. And Hodari sells the stone smelter you need for the bricks. If he's not in the village, check Bahari Bay to the east. That's where he lives. Oh. I'm happy to hear you decided to make Kilima your home. I'll have to stop by again soon with some housewarming gifts. Stop Aww. by again soon. Gain a recipe for stone smelter. 
from Hodari and mining level two. At mining level two. Okay, so we need the bricks and the planks. Did we ever get the... And we got the cash. Okay. So how do we know what level our stuff is? Okay. So foraging. That must be wood cutting. Mining is one. So we gotta level up our mining too. Let's level up some mining. Either take out some stones here. Yeah, let's take out some stones. I think we can do this anyways, so might as well. Alright, did that get me closer? No. food thing does. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll cut out this one too. Let's get the ones that are close. Just till we level up. I don't know if I really want to take all of these out, but to think about how we want to do this. Definitely burn it. Scan that house, though. All right, we got mining level two. Mm, I'll take one more. <laughs> it's addictive. Wait, keep re mine twenty nodes. Okay. All right. So now we need to get the sawmill and the stone smelter. Every day I'm confronted with the dilemma of what to prepare for Gina's dinner. Perhaps ramen will suffice. Let's chat. Gina and I must return home to make sure she gets her requisite rest. Her requisite rest. <laughs> Gina is often digging for things at the beach. Perhaps she's looking for ship fragments. I must Perhaps. return to my Gina. Hello, Gina. I don't think I've met you yet. Knowledge is for those who seek it. Another newcomer? Another newcomer, eh? <laughs> Perhaps you think this building looks friendly and inviting. Maybe you thought you could even borrow a book or two. Incorrect. A paleon librarian's job is not just to loan books out willy-nilly. No, she must also guard the knowledge within those sacred tomes. I don't know how they did things where you come from, but we paleons believe knowledge in the wrong hands can be disastrous. You may peruse the books marked for public use, but you won't see a drop of extra knowledge until I have properly vetted you. Now, off you go. I am far too busy to keep coddling you. Let's chat. Don't forget I'm watching you. If a book goes missing, I know who to blame. All right. Feel free to return once you've learned respect. Er, heading out. 320. Is that? Oh. No. Is there someone over at the are they all at the farm? No. Hmm. So let's see. I'm sure. Isn't he usually over here at the inn? I call it the bar, but really it's an inn. Hey, it's Saifu. Here we go. Hello! Good to see you again. Thanks for dropping oh, by. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Take a load off. 
What can I do you? Do for? What can I do you for? Okay. Man. Uh, oh. Guild store? Oh, there it is. Okay. Basic sawmill. Purchase. All right. I think we're done. Don't be a stranger. Let's talk to Saifu. Need something smashed? Or Sifu. Even the most cunning hunter needs a helping hand once in a while, you hear me? If you ever need help, all you have to do is ask. Let's chat. I never have to worry, Has Never have to worry Hassan when I stay up working like this. He prefers to sleep outdoors as opposed to in his room after all. Stop by <laughs> any time. Wonder where. So now we just gotta find the other person. Stone mining. Who die? Keep bumping this. Hmm. Said it was to the east. Wonder if. Okay. Oops. Oh, Dari. Mining level two. There's Kenyatta. You're just gonna stand there. Tell me something. Anything. I hope one of these nights I spot the Beast of the Elder Woods. I know we're not in the Elder, wo uh, Elder Woods, but beasts have legs too. What would you like this week? My mother hates it when I eat garlic. She says it makes everything stink. Ah. So naturally, I'm really craving garlic today. <laughs> I like her. Got you on the flip side. That's fun. Um. Let's see, where do we go next? We know we're gonna need a lot of stone. Well, we gotta get the little cutter first. I think that was to the east. There we go, this. Eh, let's cut through. Let's see if we have s find some stuff to gather to sell along the way. Didn't we have to get some mushrooms or something? Ooh, something's glowing. What's that? I'll take that. Grab that one too. Hmm. Mushrooms. Yeah, we had to gather three of these, I think. One, two. Hmm. Where do you suspect the third one is? Oh, I see it. I see it. Whew. Okay, phew. He's sleeping. No, don't be sleeping. Okay. So we've got a bunch of rocks. What can we do while we're here? Looks neat. We're almost full on inventory, so we have to Gotta be careful with what we what we get here. 
Although all this looks really neat. <gasps> Can I pack a s No. <laughs> oh, can I go in here? I can. Don't mind me. Read. Nothing is quite as filling as a bowl of loaded potato soup. To make, blend potato and butter for a base, then add onions, bacon, and garlic for extra flavor. Have to give it a try. Anything else? Hmm. Dragonflies. Hmm. What's this? Oh, hello. You are Najuma. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Najuma. I work with my dad in the mines, or at least I used to before he said it was too dangerous. Not that I meant to complain to a complete stranger, so sorry. It's nice to meet you. Mm. Nice to meet you. Nice. nice to meet you too. Oh, wait, I just said that. For forget I said anything. Let's chat. Everyone assumes because we're the only kids in town, Ayuni and I must be besties, but it's really not like that. Ayuni talks too much for my taste. I don't know. He's an okay kid. We're just not really close. Okay. What would you like this week? Mm -hmm. The explosive I'm working on right now could use some flint. Huh. I would go get it myself, but, you know. Okay. I don't. Hmm. Hey! Ooh! Found another treasure chest. What's this? Can we mine it? Mm, no. No, we cannot. Can I hit this one? Yes, okay. It must be a different type of material then. It's a bug. Is it? There. Do we try? Yeep. Run away. <laughs> oh. Mm. Really, I'm just waiting for this guy to wake up. we do in the meantime? Let's fish. Oh, hey, we got more of these flowers. Pick that up. Pick that up too. We got a bunch of these. Okay. It's like money on the floor here. Weird that they ghost. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, where's that house? There it is, I think. Yeah. Okay. Phew. Let's try this. Let's see if we can catch a fish out here. Looks like we might be able to. He's not moving very fast. This is kind of easy. Okay. Calico boy. Done. 
Man, we need some inventory space. Oh! Shoot, there's that garlic. <sighs> oh, okay. oh, we got flint. She wanted flint, didn't she? Let's go get her a flint. Can at least maybe get rid of one? I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not, but flowers. Pretty. You did it. Oh, um, hi there. Let's see. Flint. Hi. Oh, uh, thank you. Sweet. I wouldn't blame you if you don't come by later. Oh, poor thing. Is there anything behind the waterfalls? Dare I attempt? <laughs> nope. Nothing back there. <sighs> Let's see. We're just gonna wait for him to wake up here. And then we will get her a recipe. Come on back. I wish I could gather some more um wood. But we just don't have the inventory space for it right now. Hmm. Oh well. We'll just chill. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go pick some flowers. <laughs> Let's do something. Can't catch any bugs. Can't catch any fish. We can pick flowers and gather rocks, I think. Oh, I really want that one. That's fun. What's over here? Here, I'll get this. I don't want to wander too far, because the minute he gets up, I want to go talk to him. So I'm a little reluctant to go just wandering off anywhere. And the only reason is I want to get that house kind of at least started, I think. Still asleep, okay. Let's mine this. Alright. Oh, I'm sure there's something good up there. There's uh, gliders. Did you see that person glide? <laughs> Neat. Oh. Yeah, I can mine this one. I can't mine the ones with the dark, uh, darker spots on it, or the black spots, so we'll get these instead. Piece of cake. Oh. Hit this. Probably. Come on, dude, wake up. Hmm. Can't do that one. I 
I do love the music, and it is just gorgeous. Oh, sweet. <laughs> in here what do we think's in here let's see hmm. nothing okay odd oh what's the orb fix an inventory issue as well. Is he up yet? Yes, he's up. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy. See if we have enough for to make these uh, stone bricks. Here, there he is. Sweet. Yeah. Chat. Hmm. Heard you've been putting that pick I gave you to work. If you want to have hone those skills, build yourself a smelter. First step is to turn rocks into bricks. Yeah. I got a couple other recipes in stock that'll help you too. Check them out. Smelter. Oh, good. I'm glad we got enough. Purchase. Sweet. Don't go burn your don't go and burn yourself on that. I just ran out of bandages. Let's chat. How's that plot of land working out for you? It's going great. Good. You really need any tips? Just ask. Will do. Back to it. Awesome. That's done. Uh, one last thing. Take a look around here. Is there anyone else we haven't met? Oh, there is. Tamala. She's asleep. We're not going to wait. We will meet her probably next time. I am going to get this stone here. Where are we? Okay. couple more of these flowers. All right. like the Let's see what it takes to make this. And let's see if we have enough supplies. We may have to do a quick um, logging run for the, for the wood, but I think we'll be close. We should be good. Um, let's sell some stuff first, because full inventory. We're definitely selling that. Uh, 
I'm gonna wait on the rest. I don't know what's needed and what's not, so. That, that. We got a lot of flint. A lot of stone. Only 18 in the wood. And then I'm gonna save the fish. And I'll put that in there too. All right, let's make this uh, thing. What do we got here? Smelter. Oh, I need some hides. Sawmill. I need some wood. Some hide and some wood. Uh oh. oh we don't got many arrows. Can we make arrows? What do we need for arrows? Arrows. Yeah, we can make some arrows. Let's... Two. Oh, 40. Okay. Two or 40. So we need some wood and some hides. There we go. Let's grab this. Can we chop this tree down? Nope. Can we not chop trees out in the world? We gotta find some deer. There was like a whole bunch when we ran. Maybe I need smaller ones. There we go. running. Where'd it go? What? Well, shoot. Alright. I guess we gotta hunt a little better. This is going to make it hard. Did we not see them over here? Maybe across the bridge. Oh, yep. There it is. this way. That's what we're going to do. We're going to hurt them. Okay. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. One hide. Okay. So one hide per deer. Not bad. One to ten creatures. All right. Treasure chest. Oh my gosh. Oh, got that. Somehow got that one. Got that one. Okay. 
Now all we need is the wood. Let's chop some trees. I wonder if we can get that one. Is this one too big? Yep. Okay. Can't do that one. Alright, well, we'll just chop some of these guys then. For the for the house itself, and then another forty for the um, craft thing. So I'm thinking one forty. Thinking that's going to be our magic number that we're going to go for. Hopefully we're right. We can chop down a few of the ones on our plot as well. That should give us some resources. Oh, foraging is now level 3. That's nice. But I think the ones on our plot I'd like to use if like, we need like onesie twosie things. I don't want to rely on it for all of our materials right now. Because once those trees are gone, Assuming they don't respawn, that they won't be back. So, just want to make sure. Okay, we got 100, 118, no, 105. Oh, hey, we got 18 planks. Well, that one just gave us all fibers. No, 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 no. I thought we were goners there. Twenty-four. Okay. We're almost to forty. We're getting there. We're heading this way anyways. Pick up a couple on the way. Get that one right there. We have enough. Let's see. Yep, sawmill. Make. And we need the smelter. Make. Okay, let's put these down. Smelter. Oh, right there. No? How about that? Okay. Cool. 
so. So that's a one. Okay. So that should be enough for our thing. That's a hundred planks. Eighty-four. I thought we grabbed more than that. Two. So that's forty-four. Do we need more? How many do we need? Thirty-five. Okay. So that should do it. Alright. So let's see. With that, I think we're gonna call it a night. Um, that's gonna take some time to process. And yeah, I think our next stream, we will, or our next uh, Let's Play episode, we will work on getting the house built and we'll do some more of these other um, quests and stuff. So. Anyways, I'd like to thank everyone so much for making it to the end of my first episode of this series. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel to get future updates on this series and many more that I have planned in the future. And I hope everyone here has, the great, has a really great rest of your day. Okay? Oops. Alrighty. I'll talk to you later, or I'll see you next time. Okay? Bye! Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it greatly helps out my channel. Hope to see you soon.